want to go over the electrical controls here for the Takeuchi TB290. So start off here with the Takeuchi screen. On here you've got your engine temperature, you've got your fuel level, you've got your throttle indicator down here. On the right corner here, this little picture of a camera, when you hit that, that'll bring up your backup camera. So you can actually see what's behind you if you're working with a crew. Uh, you've got the auto idle selected, so anytime you stop moving, the uh, machine will automatically auto idle down. So, on here we have added this screen. This is the BTE screen. So when you start the machine, it'll come up on this screen. This is the home screen, screen one. Uh, right now we've got our two motor tamper on. That's the attachment that's selected. Here we can show the valves that are controlling the rotor tilt, see if they're on or off, if they're moving. So from here, if I wanted to change the attachment, if I was going to put a tie head or a culvert cleaner or mulcher or anything on, from this home screen I'm going to hit the left arrow. And this will bring up the attachment selection screen. And from here I take the arrows and I can move them up or down. And I can cycle through the attachments until I find the attachment that I want. So in this case, let's say we we're going to put a mulcher on. I can do that. Once I found the attachment that I want, I hit OK. And now it's set for that. One of the other features that we have is a joystick screen for our attachments. So on this, we've got our two motor tamper on. So if I come from the home screen here, screen one, and I do one click to the right on the pad, this will bring up the joysticks and it will show me the buttons that I need just to run the attachment that I have selected. So right now we have the two motor tamper. So here we can see the bottom two buttons on the right joystick are going to control my rotate. The bottom two buttons on the left joystick are going to control the tilt. The triggers underneath the right trigger is going to close the tamper. The left trigger is going to open the tamper. So these buttons will light up when we press them. So it's quick for troubleshooting if something out there, if the attachment isn't rotating, we can come in and we can press this button. We can see that that's lighting up. That sends a signal from the button to the PLC up on the roof and then back to the screen. So we know that part of the circuit is working. It could be an issue that's out on the rotor tilt or on the hydraulic side of the machine. Up top here is R1, which will turn the vibrators on and off inside the tamper. We have the horn. We have a one-touch idle, that if the machine's at full throttle, you can hit the button. It'll bring it down to idle. And then over here, R4. This is rabbit turtle. And what you'll notice, this is a speed for your crawler tracks, but also for your high rail gear. So when we hit this, you actually see the rabbit come up which means we're in high speed for crawling or for high rail travel. When you hit the button again, it'll go out and it'll come down to for low speed for high rail gear and for travel on the crawler tracks. When you start the machine, it will actually default to the turtle setting or the low speed crawling. You'll hit the button to actually engage high speed. L6 over here on the left control, this is the auto start and this is for the tamper head specifically. So when I push this button, the tamper will actually open and close three times automatically to simulate the actions of a production tamper. So if we're using the tamper, we lower it down in to the crib, we hit L6, our auto start, and it will actually cycle that head three times and all we have to do is drop it in and raise it back out. So drop it, hit the button, it'll squeeze, raise it up, lower it down, it'll squeeze, raise it up, lower it down, it'll squeeze again, and then the cycle is over. So it's a nice feature with the tamper to have the automatic cycle on there. So as we discussed, this machine will start on screen one. From here, you can hit the arrow, go to your joystick screen, now, if you do hit the arrows and you go out here and you get to some of these screens, you don't recognize what it is or, you know, what's all this about. At any point in time, you can hit the OK button and it will take you back to the home screen. OK, so now I want to talk about another feature that we have on this machine. It's called our depressurization cycle. And so what that does is it depressurizes 
the auxiliary lines that are going out to the attachment. So if we're going to change an attachment out, we can depressurize those lines so they connect and disconnect easily and we have no trap pressure in the attachment once we remove it. So one of the things we want to do is we want to shut the machine off completely. We're going to go ahead and raise the arm bar. And we're going to turn the machine on just to where the electrics come on, just the accessories. And we're not actually going to start the engine up. And so from here, we're going to go ahead and actually lower our arm bar and lock it into place. We're going to go to our BTE screen. We're going to go one click to the left. And you see the two buttons F2, F3. We even have a message here that says to hold them to enable depressurization. So we hold them for about two seconds and you'll see a yellow message come up. It's enabled. Now we go back here and what we can see is the valves that send oil out to the attachment are actually shifting on and off. And what that does is that lets that spool move inside the valve and lets any trap pressure that's in the attachment go back to tank and bleed everything out of there so that once we actually go out and remove that attachment, there's no pre trap pressure in our hydraulic lines.